This is the Fitzgerald Theater, a 102-year-old, busy, active, working theater in downtown St. Paul. It was built in 1910 as the Schubert Theater and was the home of various touring repertory companies for years. And then when radio put that sort of theater out of business, it switched over to become a picture house. It was the first in town to show foreign movies, so they renamed the place the World Theater. And it stayed in business, stayed in business, good years and not so good. It became a second-run movie house back in the days before video cassette and, and DVDs when a popular movie had been gone for a while and people hadn't seen it, they'd bring it back here to this theater. And that was the theater that I saw in 1978. It had closed and it was going to be torn down. And Margaret Moose and I walked in here 1978, and took a look at the place with Bob Dworsky, the owner of the building, and we decided it would be the perfect home for a Prairie Home Companion, and we moved in. It was a different sort of a place back then. These boxes had been shaved off, and there was a false ceiling had been put over to the second balcony, closing that off and the seats were kind of ratty. The backstage back here and the dressing rooms had been pretty well trashed by generations of ushers and who knows who. But I remember that beautiful curve of that balcony, that beautiful line, and I remember the feeling of intimacy that you, that you got being in here, and so, we, and so we moved in. Minnesota Public Radio bought it in 1980 and conducted an extensive renovation, uh, 83, 84, 85, and then it, it reopened. We renamed it the Fitzgerald Theater in 1994 uh, after F. Scott, who grew up in St. Paul and who attended plays here as a boy and in every other great theater along Wabasha in St. Paul and then went back home to his family up on the hill and told them the story of the play he had seen, and thus a great American novelist sitting up in the cheap seats um, developed his, his skill. It became the Fitzgerald Theater, and in 2005, Robert Altman, the director, directed his last movie here on this stage, a movie based on the radio show, starring Meryl Streep and Lily Tomlin and Kevin Kline and John C. Riley and, and many others working on this, on this stage. Minnesota Public Radio deserves all the credit for saving this place, and thank you so much for this award, which confirms for all those people who worked so hard that they, that they did the right thing that if this place had been demolished and McDonald's had come in and there were a parking lot where I'm sitting right now, St. Paul would be a poorer city. A Prairie Home Companion has played in many historic theaters across the country in the fabulous Fox in Atlanta, the Fox in St. Louis, and the beautiful Fox in downtown Detroit, the State Theater, over in Minneapolis, the town hall in, in New York City. But this is our home, and it's an amazing thing, a theater that's been busy, occupied, making people happy for 102 years old. Thanks again.